The fact that lizards differ in leg length and toe pad size, depending on where they live, suggests that these differences in traits are adaptations to the lizard's habitats. Here's a good tree over here. To test whether that is in fact the case, I came here to help Jonathan conduct some experiments. Yeah, well, these lizards are very cooperative. We begin by comparing the running ability of two lizards. Short legs, yeah. One with long legs, the other with short ones. Let's do some tests. Let's start with this little lizard here and see how fast it can run up this broad surface. All right, I'll catch him if he makes it to the end. All right, here we go. There he comes. <laughs> wow. She's a sprinter. Exactly. She lives at the bottom of trees, right in the open. She catches prey on the ground, so she has to run down quickly to get them. The shorter-legged twig lizard is not nearly as fast. It seems like a disadvantage. Why aren't their legs longer? Jonathan puts a twig lizard on a thin branch to demonstrate. All right, let's see how he does. There we go. Looks pretty comfortable there. Yep. Just sort of scurrying along like a balance beam. This is what they love. Instead of speed, the twig lizard's legs provide a firm grasp. All right, now let's try the other one. So this is the sprinter. This is the sprinter. Let's see how she fares on this little stick. Look how ungainly she is. Her legs are too long for this. So you can see on these narrow surfaces, long legs are a disadvantage. On twigs, long legs only increase the chance of falling. So ground lizards have evolved long legs, and twig lizards short ones that enabled their lifestyles. Next, we compare how well two species can climb the slick surfaces of leaves. Anoles have different sized toe pads on their feet. We'll see if these help them navigate different environments. So it's time for Lizard Olympics part two. All right, I'm game for that. Here's the ground lizard. Let's see if he can hang on and move up it. Oh! oh, no. Couldn't even hang on. Cannot hang on. Let's try That's, it again. There he goes. He's, he's getting up there. He's able to move up, but not very easily. All right, let's do another species. All right. Take a oh look at goodness. this guy. That's an anole. This is the big canopy lizard. Let's well, see how he does. Well, it's not a fair contest. He's so huge. There's no way for him to hold up his weight. What do you think now, smart guy? <laughs> OK, he proved me wrong. Pretty impressive. He's using the, the little microscopic hairs on his toe pads to bond with the surface, and that's what holds him up. And his toe pads are bigger than other lizards? Yes, they are. Even He's a bigger lizard, but even for his size, he has particularly large toe pads. So this is an adaptation. This is an adaptation because he cannot afford to fall out of the canopy. 